Aries, what are you doing? What's going on with you? We're going to get started on this right away. We're not playing around. We're not playing around today. We're getting stuff done. We're not effing around. Come on now. These cards get stuck together. We'll keep it in the back of our mind. I keep seeing the Seven of Swords. Maybe I need some lotion on my hands because these are hard to... They're hard to... Why are they so hard to shuffle all of a sudden? What the hell's going on around here? I'm just turning my ring around and everything. All right, Aries, come on. Quit playing. What is going on? Eight of hazards. Yep, eight of hazards. Eight of wands in reverse. Eight, eight. Seven of cups in reverse. You're shutting everything out. You're shutting. You're shutting everything away. You're. You're. You're closing up. Um. Why is that? You're deciding to not go. You're. You're changing positions. You're going in a different area. Uh, maybe this something has something to do with um, wounding or something like that. Wherever Aries is in your chart, there could be something about wounding. Oh, or it could be even about like the North Node because the North Node is in Aries right now. So somebody's like, I'm not taking any other route. I'm not dealing with anyone else. I'm going off on my own. I'm doing my own thing. You know, F off is kind of what I'm getting. Eight, eight. It's a year of eight, uh, the year of the dragon. So why is my ring? Oh, oh okay. If I remember correctly, with cold, it constricts fingers, so the fingers get thinner. Okay. Anyway, there's a snowstorm coming. Supposedly. I hope so. Yep. Somebody is done dealing with other people, especially, especially one person in particular. Somebody sees another person as the devil. Okay, and they're blocking away. They're keeping everyone away. Somebody's trying to stay focused on something. They're not being distracted. You have the high priestess. For me, it's... Hmm. You have the high priestess. Somebody blocking a um, Virgo or Pisces energy. Two of cups. Somebody's blocking love. Blocking another person. So somebody could be, why are these bent like that? Page of Wands, there's somebody who may have had um, words with another person <clears throat> at some point in time. And um, uh, something about this person is coming back around. So now they're trying to block it out or shut it out. Maybe somebody had like an argument with another person and um, or maybe a disagreement with another person. And now they're a little bit think, wondering, you know, wish I wish I hadn't done that or I wish I hadn't, you know, taken that stance towards somebody. I wish I hadn't, I wish I hadn't reacted the way that I did. Okay. Because this could be about somebody, you know, maybe with a hot, hot headed or hot tempered, or maybe they do things to kind of push people, you know, secretly, they secretly do things in order to um, test people to make them um to get under their skin okay to get under their skin uh to get them to react um you ever deal with one of these emmy award winners where they um they like to um they like to just see how people are going to react so they'll do things to pick and pry things for no reason just to see how they respond just to kind of like see how they can actually gauge another person okay one of these Emmy Award winners. That's all I'm going to say. This is, they're an Emmy Award winner. Okay. They're probably a little off their rocker. You know, for doing that. They probably do that to a lot of different people. All right. Yeah, something about the way that they speak to people. Oh, they're very irresponsible. And they do it. It's like they do it intentionally. It's almost like somebody kind of like gets off when... Yeah. Yeah. It's like they try to do, they, somebody likes to feel superior. They like to feel superior to other people. This person has a bad habit of 
Now, they could be a mom or something like that, and they could be very loose. They probably like to flirt with people. You ever have that where, you know, you're around people who they think they're hot shit? <laughs> And they're really not, but they have like the charisma or whatever, and they do anything that they can to kind of like lure other people to turn people away from somebody who really is actually stunningly beautiful, you know, however that is, meaning, you know, somebody could be so beautiful inside and they could just be such a sweet person. And somebody's just like, they hate that somebody else gets a lot of attention. So they, so they kind of come out of character and they just, they throw on this charm and they do this and they're just so slimy and they slither everywhere that they walk and they probably leave like a little slimy slug trail everywhere they go. It's one of these kind of people. Because they can't stand for somebody else to get attention. Okay. Guess what? Their day has come. Because every dog has their day. Yeah. Every dog has their day. The devil has come to collect. Hmm, sucks to be them, I guess. <laughs> right, Aries? Sucks to be them. All right, just saw the world card. So I feel like, um, hmm, three swords. Now I would be very careful. This person is going to do something to try to, so you may have a revisiting with whoever this person is. They may come back around. Now, whoever this person is, um, I'm not necessarily getting any kind of, well, they could have darker hair, brown, dark brown. Okay, brown probably darker than mine or maybe you know okay um for some that could be you know maybe auburn strawberry uh something like that they could be coming back around in order to try to open up a wound don't give it to them you're smarter than that i think that you already know something about this person or how it is that they react or respond just don't even talk to them. Don't even respond to them. It might be tempting. You might have to want to say something to them, but you know, just like. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes just give them a. And then just leave. That's the smile of a winner. Okay. I don't know why I'm saying all this. <laughs> So, only thing I know is it's like something just tells me to do certain things, so I, I do it, and later on it usually means something. So, I would be smart about it. Um, you have Taurus, Libra energy here. You have um, Leo. You, now, this doesn't have to be the energy. There's just energies. So, these could be energies that are highlighted in your chart or energies that somebody's uh, actually actively being in. It could have wounded certain areas like this in these certain areas in your chart. And you also have the High Priestess. So, you have the Virgo, Virgo, um, um, Pisces energy. All right. Somebody who thinks that they're cool, they think that they're flashy, they think that they're superior. They're not. Anyone who acts like that is clearly not superior. Okay. If you, if you actually have to act that way, you're not superior. And you know that you're not superior. The thing is, is they're good at faking their superiority and making other people believe that bullshit. But they're not superior. Okay. I don't know why I needed to say that. I don't know why it came out that way, but it did. So take it however it resonates. This person could be coming back. Watch yourself. They're ready to do something to you again to try to kind of get under, you know, whatever reason. But I feel like you're much smarter, smarter than it now. All right. There you go. There you have it. All right, Aries. Good luck. I want you to thumbs up, please. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Drop me a comment. Let me know. Tell me your story. I'd love to hear it. And if... Because this isn't going to be resonating with everyone. This isn't going to be everyone's story. For those of you that this story makes sense, come back and uh, give me an update. I'd love to hear your story. All right, that's it. Good luck. See you soon.